I was the youngest of three brothers, and so for the first few years of my life, I didn't really know anything about girls at all. I remember being fascinated that some of my Lego figures had a necklace painted on them instead of a suit and tie, and my brother told me that some of the men who worked in my dad's office had pictures of naked ladies in their lockers. Girls also tended to be the topic of most of the monkey's lyrics, and so I concluded that girls were a mysterious, all-consuming obsession, and that from what my mom told me, it was likely that I would eventually wind up having babies with one. My first real awakening was an obvious one. I ditched my Luke Skywalker action figure, my Han Solo, my R2-D2 and Darth Vader, and spent hours feeling up the little plastic bumps on the chest of Princess Leia. However, the number of foxy poses that Leia would go into were fairly limited, so I pleaded with my friend Matt to let me borrow a few of his Planet of the Apes dolls. Zira, the female ape scientist, had a removable cloth outfit, and underneath was all putty-colored bare skin. Although the anatomic details of the doll were not very specific, I was endlessly aroused, regardless of the fact that on top of it all she still had an ape head. When I turned seven, I finally got a real look at the goods when me and a girl from school played I'll show you mine if you show me yours behind a tree in my backyard. The event was somewhat unspectacular because we didn't fool around or anything, but at least it was a step up from looking at National Geographic and my brother's book of Andrew Wyeth paintings. Just as an aside, that girl went on to play an advanced version of our game in high school with about 45% of the football team. I was still really scared of girls, though. I liked them, but I didn't know how to talk to them. I asked my parents for advice and got conflicting approaches to the subject. My mom is from the Midwest, and she said that when you talk to a girl, you had to make sure that they knew that you were noble and honorable and clean and reverent and respected them as a person because most boys were after only one thing. My dad, on the other hand, is from Turkey, and when I asked him about girls, he took me to the diner for a cheeseburger and ice cream and asked all the good-looking waitresses if they wanted to marry me. I think I was in the third grade when I had my first little date. There was a girl in my class I liked, and after a few months, I finally got the nerve to ask her over to play after school. We played Monopoly and Battleship, and I did my best to sound like a fascinating, intelligent gentleman while we discussed spelling and multiplication tables. The whole time, though, all I was thinking about was when would be a good time to maybe hold her hand and see if I could try to kiss her. It was the sort of thing I expected to pass with adolescence, but in a lot of ways, things haven't really changed all that much.